We had a Darby Cody video package because that was the opener on the show, a semifinal match for the TNT title. And they had a really good match. And Brandy got involved a couple of times. And Okay, so there was a, the, the one thing was, is okay, you know that those two matches were supposed to air on different shows. And, and, and probably were taped. I don't know if they were taped on different days, but obviously Brandy had a completely different outfit on in Dustin's match than she had in Cody's match. And when she was out there with Dustin, she never sold the injuries from the Cody match because she thought it was going to be on a different show. So, um, so anyway, that was one thing that was very noticeable to me. She got wiped out early, went to the back, came back later with water, which she gave to Cody, which Jericho presumed must be acid that she's bringing out here. Darby tries his springboard stunner. Cody catches it with a near fall, uh, crossroads for a near fall. And then Cody goes up top. Cody tries a coffin drop. Darby gets his knees up. Darby then goes up. Darby hits a coffin drop. But as he goes for the cover, Cody tips him over so his shoulders are on the mat as he's making the cover. The referee counts to pin. So Cody beat Darby. And the funniest thing about this was... I got, I swear to God, no less than a dozen emails. And like every single one of them said the exact same thing. And that was, everybody's going to hate the finish, but I loved it. And in fact, I never heard from anybody that hated the finish. There were people, there were people who, who, who hated the finish. I thought the finish was exactly what it should have been because the whole deal was Cody had to win, okay? Because this whole tournament from the start, was clearly built for Cody against Lance Archer. Now, of course you could throw in swerves and this and that, but from day one, that was the match that they've been building. And it makes the most sense, since it's ending on a pay-per-view, whatever pay-per-view means, but is is Cody and Lance Archer's the pay-per-view match. They've been building it from the start, you know, from Jake's very first promo. So you don't want... Cody has to beat Darby, Um and you want, you know, you want a match. You want to finish basically like this. Because the whole thing is is that maybe in the next match, maybe two matches down the line, but sometime in the year 2020, Darby Allen has to beat Cody. And the thing is, is if that's the idea, and it does have to happen, if that's the idea, and I wouldn't do it on the next one, I would actually do two two down. I'd have one more before that he doesn't do it in. But... To do that, you want to tell the story that he's getting close. And that's exactly what the story was, is that he's getting close. So I, you know, I thought that the finish, long term, where they're going, um, I thought the finish was made perfect sense. Um, but yeah, I did see some people going like, oh, great match, but what lousy finish. And I thought this was this was like, you know, this was like a smart finish. And it was a really strong match. And the main event, Lance Archer, Dustin Rhodes in a tournament match, semifinal match. Winner faces Cody. And they had a very, very good match. And the only thing I could not figure out, and I guess the, the rules are different in, in AEW, is Archer rips off a corner pad. He exposes the metal buckle. He fucking rams Dustin's head into this buckle like five times right for the referee. This is not a disqualification. Yes. Apparently uh, that's allowed. He'd busted Dustin open. Dustin's bleeding all over the place. QT Marshall and Cody run out, and QT's got the the white towel, and Cody won't let him throw the towel in. And so Archer grabs Dustin. He drags him to the middle. He puts him in the claw. He rams Dustin's head into the mat, and he pins him. So it's Cody... Versus Lance Archer in the finals. Lance Archer killed Cody's brother to get to the finals. Cody barely won over Darby to get to the finals. And so that's going to be your big match at the pay-per-view for the TNT title. They went 23 minutes. So yes, I, I, they sure as hell did. Two commercial breaks. Yeah. I um, Like I said, if you had told me um, that, that that match was going to go 23 minutes, I would, I would say exactly what I say every week about don't go more than about 13 but somehow i just thought you know dustin rhodes is really a, a hell of a worker and lance He's great and lance archer um i mean he he's his character so strong right now and i mean when he did that moonsault it's really too bad that there were no fans he did the undertaker rope walk into a moonsault yeah he does it in japan all the time anyway i mean so i knew i know the move but 
I think that the place would have just come unglued at a live show if people saw that big guy doing that move. Um, I know they did in Dallas when he did it um, with Will Ospreay. Um, but, um, yeah, I mean, just a very well-worked, just a very well-worked match.